this week on the show, we have American actress Aparna Brial, who stars as Tina in the Netflix series Fubar. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of learning to take a break, regroup, but to never quit on your dreams. The reality is going after your dreams can feel exhausting. It can feel draining to constantly work hard and not see results immediately. But here's the thing. The one thing that is guaranteed is that if you quit now, you are guaranteed to fail and never see your dreams manifest. However, the great news is if you keep pushing through relentlessly, the odds are things will eventually align for you and success can and will be yours. Anyone that you admire or has been successful in any field had to endure many years of rejection and failures prior to getting their big break. The next time you feel frustrated or feel like quitting, train yourself to take a break instead or re-strategize, but to make quitting a non-negotiable. As Banksy quotes, if you get tired, learn to rest, not to quit. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, let's talk about your role as Tina in FUBAR on Netflix across Arnold Schwarzenegger. Tell us about your role and a little bit about the premise of the show. So FUBAR follows, um, it's very true lies. It follows a legendary CIA operative played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, who is about to retire and is asked to do one last job to rescue another CIA operative who's in a bad situation. And surprise, turns out that's his daughter, who's they both somehow have avoided each other their whole careers. Um, and I play Tina, who is an NSA operative on loan um, and uh, part like asked to be a part of this covert operation they've got. Um, and Tina gets swept up into the madness before we find out who she really is. Wardrobe provided by Le Chateau. Next up on the show, we have American actress Aparna Brielle, who stars in the Netflix series Fubar alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger. You came alone. What was the plan? To kill all of you and then to leave. And now, with all our guns out, I'll manage. You're the fastest 65 year white guy on the planet. I guess I'm done. You are officially retired. Everyone in the bed now. That was on me. This is totally football. You should enter marriage before you... Do you think I'm a virgin? Well, let me think what I want to think. Oh my God, I'm 28. Aparna, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. I'm doing amazing. I'm having a, a great day. And I'm really excited to talk to you. I really love the show and I was just congratulating you on all your success. And I want to talk about all of it. But before we get into that, uh, let's talk a little bit about, I know you started at the age of nine in cultural dance. So how do you think mm -hmm. that kind of stage in your life prepared you uh, for this industry? I think, I mean, really, I feel like all of the arts that I've ever done are very connected, but with dance, I, um, my favorite part was the storytelling and I had to learn so much about how to be directed at a young age, how to take corrections and adjustments and all of that. And, um, and I think it's the dancing world can be so rigorous and it can be so competitive and, and crazy that I almost feel like the acting industry was almost a little bit easier <laughs> to yeah. get into. Um, but I mean, I loved every second of it. It was uh, it was so cool doing a 2000 year old dance form, actually even older than that. And um, feeling like that's still alive in me while I'm doing all this other, while I'm playing a spy and doing all these other things, I kind of feel like it's all still <laughs> contributing in some weird way. Yeah, and I feel like that kind of dance um, requires a lot of discipline, right? And focus, just like this industry. So it, I kind of, it all ties together, right? Uh, no, I feel like it's um, it is a lot of discipline. It's dance and martial arts are very similar in that way, and and I was doing it from a very young age. So having to, you know, it's a lot about your your posture, your physique, and you have to be able to. I mean, when I was nine, I did a, a solo dance performance for two hours. That's a lot of stuff. Wow. <laughs> so I feel like you kind of get in the flow of things and understand a lot about the patience part of the art. And so definitely, definitely prepared me for for all of it. <laughs> 
Very nice. And in 2014, you made your TV debut, uh, the supernatural drama Grimm. I know you were also in AP Bio and The Librarians, to name a few. What's been your most memorable role and why? Oh my goodness. Honestly, um, might be cheating just to say uh, getting to play Tina in FUBAR. It's been <laughs> super, very different than any, anything I've done. But no, honestly, I've been really lucky to play a lot of different characters yeah. and the things that I have done. AP Bio is incredibly special for me. Um, such a fun character that's so different than me as a human being. And the first time I really got to play with some legends like Len Howerton and Patton Oswalt and, and learn all about building a character. Um, and that will forever be such a special experience for me. And then to transition from that into this kind of a role, such a different set of skills. Um, and such a different group of people, but that current of that comedy or undercurrent going through all of it, I feel like AP Bio gave me a very solid foundation for something like this, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And let's talk about your role as Tina in FUBAR on Netflix across Arnold Schwarzenegger. Tell us about your role and a little bit about the premise of the show. So FUBAR follows, um, it's very true lies. It follows a uh, legendary CIA operative played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, who is about to retire and is asked to do one last job to rescue another CIA operative who's in a bad situation. And surprise, turns out that's his daughter, who's they both somehow have avoided each other their whole careers. Um, and I play Tina, who is an NSA operative on loan um, and uh, part like, asked to be a part of this covert operation they've got. Um, and Tina gets swept up into the madness before we find out who she really is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, and do you see any similarities in your character within yourself? Because I feel like your role is a little bit nerdy and you seem really out there and confident. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you. I like yeah. to I like to think I am. Um, no, Tina's <laughs> definitely very, when we meet her, she's very, um, She's very quiet. She's got a confidence in terms of knowing, like being the person who knows what she knows and giving that info. She's She's got the nerdy stuff covered, but trying to fit into this group of super suave spies, that can be a little tricky. Um, and so for me, I would constantly be dialing down my energy because I love all these other actors so much and we had so much fun goofing off. So whenever we'd be rolling, I'd have to kind of contain it a little bit. Um, but what's cool about Tina is um, as we watch the show and start getting to know her and seeing her more, I think some of her cool confidence that she's secretly been harboring kind of comes out. And so, um, I don't know, she's a, she's a mystery wrapped in an enigma, wrapped in a, I don't know. <laughs> she's, very, she's very curious. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's such a great cast, of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger. How has your experience been working with everybody? Honestly, not an ego on this set. Every person was so kind, so funny. Every day I was so excited. I'm not a morning person by any stretch and I was excited to be there at 4 a.m. and that tells you everything. Like we had the best time on this show and um, I just feel so lucky I got to work with such incredible people. Yeah, and I did see that season two will be launching as well. So what can fans expect? Are there any plot twists? Can you give us a little bit of information? Um, so where we last left our gang, um, everyone's identities have been burned. They all were totally foobar, had to get into a, into a bus and drive off. Everyone except for Tina, mm -hmm. um, who it's revealed is a Russian double agent, which is really exciting mm -hmm. for me. Um, and so I'm hoping that next season we get to really explore i mean i think we're going to be seeing a lot of peeling back her layers and maybe figuring out how that's going to affect the gang who doesn't know yet um she is currently in a little relationship situation with barry so he has no idea it's kind of fun having secrets yeah. i don't know about secrets but I'm, I'm excited i think um i think we're going to be dealing with the russians next season and whatever that means because that that's a whole other world that i'm very curious to see what the writers have up their sleeves. <laughs> so. Very nice. Well, I'm excited for it. And I love your character, by the way. And I want to talk about, you know, I created my platform to inspire, to motivate, to be like a beacon of hope for, for people watching. So I want to ask you, what are some barriers that you face getting into this industry? And how did you get through it? I think one of the biggest things, of course, being a woman of color, um, we're very fortunate now to have so many more opportunities as far as diversity and, and um, 
just telling stories that aren't limited to our skin color or our or our gender or any of these other modifiers that we use. Um, a role like Tina has been really exciting for me because it's not, you know, there's little hints about who I am, but it's not, oh, I didn't feel like a token character. And that's mm -hmm. something that we've all had to face getting into the arts, constantly hearing about how you're either not gonna get roles because you're a minority or you're gonna get roles that are just within um, within a, a small box. And um, I actually heard Arnold talking about this last night. Uh, he just launched his new, his new Toshin book and he was talking about being a guy with a German accent with the last name Schwarzenegger and how nobody, and having a big body and how nobody wanted to see him. And I think there's something that all of us, any person who's been told no, which is everyone in this industry, but really those of us that have, have really had to take that extra step to prove we deserve a spot at the table too. Um, I think one thing we've all got in common is that those things that people told us um, would would be the reason we wouldn't get roles or, or would be the reason that we were getting no's constantly. You have to really embrace those things about you, those things that make you unique, those things that make you different, those things that, you know, because someone out there is looking to to watch you and see themselves represented or see something different. And um, I think honestly, you know, it's not really, it's one of those businesses where it's just, you have to keep grinding. But the thing that kept me grinding is knowing that, you know, maybe right now these people aren't embracing all of these things that make me who I am, but I do. And I know someone else will eventually. And I think that's really, it's really powerful when you get to that point where you're like, I know my worth and yeah someone else is going to see it and then eventually maybe the world will but we you know right now i'm just taking it day by day with and that's kind of gotten me to where i am now so hopefully that'll keep getting me to the next interesting role or you know whatever else comes my way yeah absolutely i love that and you know there's so much diversity now in this industry i mean mm -hmm. you know we see priyanka on the screen we see so many south asians and i like that you said that about arnold because that's true because when he started i mean you know there weren't that many austrian actors at that time with an accent right he kind of paved the way so i love that and i think that you know no means next opportunity right you just gotta yes i love that no means next opportunity i'm saving that one it's yeah. so true though i feel like whenever a door is not open to you it's like okay well that door is open so i'm gonna go through there and see what's behind that one and yes um and every time something hasn't worked out in retrospect, I mean, always hindsight's twenty twenty. but I'm so glad it didn't work out because I wouldn't have had the cool roles with the cool people and, you know, amazing adventures that I've been so fortunate to have. So everything happens for a reason, I think, when it comes to this industry and, you know, yeah. the arts in general. But, yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Everyone's timing is different and you just have to keep holding on and eventually it's going to happen, right? So I yes. love that. And Aparna, what else are you working on right now? Um, well, I have, I'm very excited that I haven't, my first animated series is coming out with Netflix oh, very wow. soon here in August. It's called Mech Cadets. Wow. Um, and it's based on a comic book series. It's super cool. The animations are, I've never seen animations like this. Um, they spent a couple years in Japan creating these incredible like just incredible different it's just so much fun I, i'm really excited for people to see um and uh i recently actually formed my own production company so i'm mm -hmm. in the process of creating a bunch of really cool things with friends but they're all pretty early stages so i'm, ho I'm hoping to share more soon Ooh, very um, nice well exciting news congratulations again <laughs> on all your success it's it's really nice to see thank and you. i can't wait to see what else is in store for you thank you for being on the show thank you so much for having me tag tv is available on roku amazon fire tv apple and android tvs as well as on apple and android phones watch us live to youtube and facebook mm -hmm.